Hi, I'm Meredith from Fern Street Pottery. I make handcrafted artisan pottery for people to use on a daily basis. Before I opened Fern Street Pottery, I didn't know how many pots I would be selling. I didn't know there would be demand. I was really surprised to find out how many mugs people buy. Fern Street Pottery was named because I live on Fern Street in this great little town, and I don't think I'm ever going to leave it. I started doing pottery when I was a small child. I was probably six or seven years old, and I took pottery with my best friend. We took classes for years and years all the way through graduation. And then in college when I took ceramics classes, I would come home during the summers and I would teach the classes at the parks department where I used to take them. And after college, I kept teaching at the parks department and became a contractor through them. And then I became a public school teacher and then I taught at the college level at a private art college. I did that for 19 years and then I had my own studio, created my own studio and never looked back. This is the first clay piece that I ever made and I was six years old and I made it in first grade in school and my art teacher somehow determined that I should come to special advanced art classes from this piece. This is the first bowl that I ever made on the pottery wheel and I was probably seven or eight. It has an interesting little um, bump in the middle and texture on the edge <laughs> and a very interesting glaze job. But I keep it to remind me that we all have to start somewhere. This is a bowl that I recently made just to show that I did improve since that first one. I never actually meant to be a professional potter. I always meant to be a teacher and I was for 20 years. I ended up leaving the teaching field after years and years and just started teaching in my own home studio and doing pottery on my own. And it turned into a business as I was doing it and I realized this is what I want to do. I pull them and I shape them with my thumb, my fingers, so that when you hold the handle, it actually has the feeling of that shape because it's made with that exact grip. My family was very supportive as I was changing from teaching to pottery. My husband built this studio that we're in. I could not have done it without him. He was extremely helpful. He helps me abundantly. I can't imagine doing anything else other than pottery. I don't think I'll ever retire. Well, I don't know. I, I can't imagine retirement. What would I do, not make pots? I can't even imagine it. You know, living in a small town, a lot of people know who you are and what you're doing. Word spreads about what you're doing and people can find you and see. I purchase clay locally. I store it in the garage. I cut up the clay, a little over a pound and a half for each mug that I make. On a day when I'm throwing, I will throw a full bag of clay or maybe two bags of clay, so probably 20 to 40 mugs. I let it sit overnight, and the next day when it's a little bit drier, I finish up the mug, I trim and clean up the bottom, and I add the handle. Then the mug or whatever bowl, whatever I've thrown, dries for about a week or two on my drying shelves, and then I fire it. It takes about a day to fire and a day to cool down. And then I glaze everything from that kiln load, and I put it into another kiln. It takes me about three days to glaze all those pots, Glazing is a sort of slow process. That kiln is fired to a higher temperature, about 2100 degrees, and I fire that in about 12 hours, and it takes about 24 hours to cool down because it's very hot and you don't want to cool it too fast. Then I sand the bottoms of all the pots. I pack them up and ship them out or deliver them to stores in the area. I have the best job in the world. My studio is in my backyard, so I wake up. I don't set an alarm. I wake up when I wake up. Up, feed my dogs and I come out to the studio make pots all day it's pretty wonderful as long as I I like what I'm doing so the long hours don't bother me I have a lot of pugs here at Fern Street Pottery the pugs rule my life I wouldn't have it any other way right now I've got four we've had five pugs at one time and we've had a 11 total. Some people don't understand why they would pay $50 for a hand-built custom mug and when you can get it at Target for $5. You can. Those people can get their mug at Target for $5. I used to have Target mugs. I've gotten rid of them all because now I realize happy it makes me 
to have a mug that fits in my hand that I absolutely love, that I like to look at the glazes when I'm having my morning coffee. My thumb fits in the handle, my hand fits around it. It makes, makes it more comfortable, makes me happy. I also think that people really appreciate things that are handmade and handcrafted and they want to keep that alive in the world. That appreciation makes my life happen. What keeps me going every day? The need to create. I just, I can't stop. I, I want to keep making and making and making and fortunately people are buying so that keeps me going as well. 